heard of Arm Motorsports out there from Facebook ads to Instagram or other BMW enthusiasts buying their products. So in this video, I'm gonna show you their N54 charge pipe assembly with the Tile Q blow out. Now this video is gonna be a test fit and finish. We're gonna see how, how well it fits, everything in the box, does it include everything that we need? And of course, how does it install? and then we'll do a Tile Q uh, sound clip at the very end. Now, Tile Q is a great blow off out of the course. I'd say one of the best as far as quality goes on an N54, on a BMW in general, and a lot of other different platforms. Now, our Motorsports offers a authentic tile blow off valve, which is very key because there's a lot of fake ones out there like on Amazon and eBay and stuff like that. So you're getting the real deal uh, for the kit. Now I also do have their five inch stepped intercooler for over a year and a half now, maybe at a year and eight months uh, when I first did it on this channel. So I did all the data log testing before and after as far as from the stock one to this one on my current setup, pretty much what I have uh, right now. And did the full install video on my channel. So definitely check out that install video if you guys wanna see just how it is. It's a very quick and easy install. Now that intercooler has been great and it served me well and it still continues to do so. I will be doing further upgrades to that, so that way I continue to make sure that I don't have any boost leaks or anything else like that, and it's able to um, meet the needs uh, for me. So, but all is well, and I've been happy with it. So let's get this thing unboxed, installed in the car, and get these test clips going. Let's get going, come on. All right, within the box, you're actually gonna receive two boxes. You're gonna receive your charge pipe, which I've already pre-opened. And then you're going to receive a second box, which is going to be your Tile Q blow valve. So looking at the Tile Q here first, now I already put the clamp already on it. We're going to go ahead and take it out of the box. It's going to be down and the foam pad in here. Here's your Tile Q. Like I said, this is just the clamp that you just open apart and it just sits on this inside ring right here. And then your T25 basically goes right through. Also in the boxes are one fourth fitting that goes right on the top. This is what we need to connect our one fourth line so that way you can properly run this blow off valve. You need to have a one fourth line. Uh, they recommend it to, that you have that. So you have to make sure to do that proper fitting. You can have compressor surge, Obviously you get that fluttering uh, if you connect it to the stock one eighth line, but proper operation, one fourth line. So within here, you're gonna have your coupler that goes to the lower intercooler piping. So you got that. All your clamps to connect that, because you're gonna have two on each one. So these two are gonna block it off if you have the stock already uh, diverted valves, so you wanna cap those off, which, Here's the caps. And then you're also gonna have um, the torques in here to do the T-map. You got that. Of course, a little decal from arm. Lots of foam padding down in there, so it rides uh, not broke. But here's their N54 charge pipe. Course with your towel Q blow off valve flange that'll work there. Two meth ones at the top, two meth connections. And this is where your T map goes. Now you'll want to go ahead and put in your O ring from your charge pipe, or if you've already bought a new one, go ahead and put the, that one in there. That you will need to make sure to do that so that way it gets a good seal. You're going to retain your stock C clip. So this still retains a stock C-clip setup. So that's that. But uh, overall, finish looks great. I don't see any kind of imperfections at all. It's all smooth around all here that I'm filling in here. Because a lot of times you'll have companies that have, uh, it's, just, it's just really rough in the inside as far as not being smoothed out but looks good. All right, we're gonna take our charge pipe here. Now we're gonna to need to go ahead and put the tile Q on. So I'm gonna take it as such here. Go ahead and get this on. 
I'm gonna put it at the same time. I'm gonna put it on like this. There we go. So you have it around both rings. So you got this top one here and then the bottom of the, of, of the flange. So that way those two are together. And then you're gonna put your T25 through the holes. So you're gonna connect it. Go ahead and get my ratchet on here so I can tighten this a little bit more. So we got that set up. We'll now put on our T map. So you're gonna take your T map sensor from your charge pipe. Now, this is gonna go downwards as far as how the connector is. I'm just gonna put it on there and Slowly push it down in there. There we go. So pointing down. Then you're gonna take the supplied uh, Torx bolts for this. Or you're gonna take your Torx bolt and then a washer. Go ahead and put that on. Same one for the other one. Gonna take your T20. Go ahead and tighten that down. Okay, once that's good and tight, you have it as such. Uh, we'll go ahead and add our fitting here. So you're gonna take it from the tile box. So we're gonna wanna keep it, see this swivels here. We'll just keep it like that. And then, so that way it's straight and we can adjust it if the hose wants to go more that way. So that way we can do that. But uh, moving right along, it's gonna be like this. And take the supplied T-bolt clamps. goes for this one. I'm gonna to wanna to tighten that front one a little bit just so it doesn't fall off. So you're just gonna take a 10 millimeter. All right, once you have it all ready to go, you have your T-map here on the back. Make sure your meth screws are um, tightened because obviously you don't want one of those coming loose and then obviously you have a leak there. Now I got the coupler on with the T-clamps just loose just so I can maneuver a little bit. So that's why they're just not obviously straight and just hanging there. Uh, this will help. So once I actually try to get it down in there, and get it turned on, I might have to move the coupler a little bit to be able to get it lined up correctly. So I have the tile blow off valve with the clamp all the way tightened, tight as it can be. 
and then the one fourth fitting uh, at the top going back, which will then connect to my one fourth line that I have here. And that runs all the way to the back here. And this is my Vader Solutions uh, one fourth adapter. So that way I can run a one fourth line uh, without tapping the manifold. So it's a really nice plug and play kit right here. Uh, I have a DIY on how to do that video. Now comes the fun part on putting the charge pipe in the car. So depending on your setup in your car, now I've had multiple setups other than stock. Uh, so that's that. But the general, just to remove the charge pipe, it's very simple, of course. You know, you got your C-clip. I mean, it looks similar to what I'm installing, just a little different as far as you would have two diverter valves uh, right here. And then all the connections are somewhat very similar as well. It goes to the front, uh, to the lower intercooler piping. It's a very easy, you know, install, I would have to say. You just have to take off the cowl, and uh, really that's about it. But snaking it down in here can sometimes be a little of a hassle. And so it's easy. Take your full charge pipe assembly. Drop it way down. That way you can clear that. And go right to the coupler. There you go. Perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten our clamps here. So it is a 10 millimeter. Let's go ahead and get this one tightened. So the C-clip is your stock connector clip. It's on the stock charge prep as well. Uh, this is obviously the best you wanna do. There's no issues with the stock uh, connecting piece, which is called the C-clip on a charge pipe. So definitely wanna charge pipe with this. Uh, you're gonna do it with these points pointing out like that, down in there. Now you are gonna slide it over. And you feel it lock in place where it like tries to grab it down. All right, so T-map's at the bottom. You should have your T-map somewhere down here. It's right here. And all you're gonna do is plug it back in, just like that. Now what I just noticed is that you need to make sure the charge pipe is fully on, uh, making sure that it's all the way on the throttle body. So, what I just did, and I heard a little click, was I just maneuvered the, the charge pipe up from the bottom, pull from the bottom up, and I heard a click right on the throttle body, and that meant that it's nice and sealed and tight, uh, what you need to do. So make sure you do that just so there's not a lot of movement and play on there. Now you need to cap off your inlet part. This is where you're recirculating, meaning your diverter valves would connect to. So uh, there's one in the back, right back here, and then you got one right here. Now these caps usually stay on very, very well. And I'm just gonna slide this one on. Take your other one and go ahead. And go ahead and put that one on. Now we're ready to go ahead and put the, our DCI back in. If you didn't move out the power steering out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and reattach that. With your two washers, two 10 millimeter bolts.
Next, we're going to go ahead and put our VCI in. Go ahead and throw the back one in. Push that one all the way back. Make sure to remove, if you have uh, microfiber towels, plug in the inlets. Go ahead and remove those. All right, once you have that, I'm gonna take our screwdriver, go ahead, go ahead and retighten where they connect to on the inlets. All right, now we're ready to connect our one fourth line. Uh, like I mentioned, I'm using the Vader Solutions uh, one fourth adapter. The adapter sits right on top of the intake manifold, it has a one fourth fitting out, and also can do the map sensor at the same time. So you get that proper fitting. So what I'm doing is just seeing how much line I want to cut off because I did have a little extra already on there. Down and around. So I'm just running it down and then straight to the blow off valve right here. So I'll cut a little extra hose off. And then go ahead and put that right on the fitting. All right, and here's the finished product. Arm Motorsports charge pipe and tile cube blow off valve assembly, all buttoned up, put back together. Uh, looks great. Install was very simple, very easy. Great clearance between the two, so it's not touching there, and it's not touching there. It's perfect in there. Uh, got it all set up. Here's my one fourth line. Runs all the way back behind. So we're gonna go ahead and start it up, and then we'll drive around to a nice little sound clip. All right, with all that done, now we'll go ahead and put back the cow. If you don't know how to put the cow back on, don't worry, check out the video up above, and I'll show you how to do so. All right, once you have the cow assembly back on, your now new looking engine bay with the Arm Motorsports charge pipe with tile cube law valve. Engine bay is yet again looking really good, really clean. Time for a sound clip. I'll have to let it warm up just a little bit. Ha, 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 ha.
waiting for it to start spinning there. It didn't. The light didn't come on yet. Um, I was waiting for it. Just It's all, the snow is melting like crazy. It's wet everywhere. It's not really the best conditions to do any kind of like a full on 18 PSI pole. Uh, that's what it's 17 and a half, 18 PSI. All right, guys, well, there you have it. The R Motorsports charge bike for the BMW N54 that comes with the authentic Tile Q blow valve. So the install was perfect, no issues whatsoever as far as installing it on my car. The fit was on point, quick and easy, and no complaints whatsoever. I'm gonna put their link down in the description box below so when you guys can choose what option that you want, if you wanted to do the Tile Q with their charge pipe, of course, you'll see those options uh, for you. Overall, I'm very pleased. It arrived pretty quickly as far as for me, and I'm loving the new sound on my N54 335. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for stopping in the channel. I'll see you soon.